Levi Cotton was a North Carolina Quaker who strongly opposed slavery. He was also part of Society of Friends, a body of Christians that strongly believed in Christianity. All white preachers used to talk with their tongues without saying nothing, but Jesus told us slaves to talk with our hearts. As an abolitionist, Levi Coffin opened a Sunday school for blacks to teach them the true meaning of the Bible, and although it had to close down soon, it was another great contribution to his cause. Like his cousin Vestal Coffin, Levi helped many runaway slaves to freedom. Not a single slave of the 3,000 that he helped was caught at his residence. These accomplishments gained him the nickname as the President of the Underground Railroad. If you come to us and are hungry, we will feed you. If naked, we will clothe you. If sick, we will minister to your necessities. If in prison, we will visit you. If you are in need of a hiding place from the face of a pursuer, we will provide one that your blood house will not send out. Credo of this anti-slavery society. Working as a merchant, Levi Coffin was very important to the economy, which helped cover his role as an underground railroad conductor. He only sold free labor goods, products made by free humans, not slaves. Slave labor goods are like child labor goods, and so like now, many abolitionists shopped only from him. Levi Coffin died on September 16, 1877 after almost 80 years of numerous contributions against African-American slavery in the United States.